Hi, today I'm excited to announce a new add-on that builds on top of Week Hours. It is called Week Hours Stop Motion and it provides a new region type. This region type allows for pretty much any animation that you can think of. So let me quickly demonstrate a few animations that are now possible with this add-on. So at the bottom you see a energy bar and on the left I have various indicators for pocks and comma points. As you can see I have three different kind of animations on the left side. A radial blur for, with a V and a highlight that moves around for the W and then there's a motion blur for the for reverse F. Now to explain how this works, I need to go to the weak hours options. This is the actual texture behind the W. As you can see, there are 64 Ws. Each of them is one frame in the animation. So it starts in the top left and goes from left to right, top to bottom and displays each W as a frame. So let's go over the options of the new region type. You can choose the texture. So I've created a few example textures, but this feature is best used with your own custom textures. I'm going to produce a video explaining how I created the textures that come with the add-on and how to apply the same effects to your own graphics. It's pretty easy. I'm actually not that good with graphics, so if anyone wants to contribute a few textures, please send me a message. Let's use the W. There are the standard options for desaturate and blend mode. And down here you can change the color. What is unique to the stop motion texture is the animation mode setting. So you have progress if you want the animation progress coupled to the trigger progress. That's what I used for the energy bar. Or you can have the animation run independently like the displays for combo points and procs. So let me use the forward reverse loop. And as a trigger, I'm going to use casting because that's easy to, to show off. And I want a higher frame rate, so let's type in 60. And this looks like this. That's all for today. I'm planning on doing a video on how to create your own custom textures or how to apply the same effects to your own graphics, so the motion blur, the radial blur or the highlighting. Also I'm planning on doing a, a UI with this new feature, though I haven't decided on the class yet. And if you want to be informed on when I release those videos, consider subscribing to this channel.